You know how when somebody does something right and their instinct is to then do lots and lots of that thing? Like when Assassin's Creed 3 had cool boats, so the next game was entirely about boats. Or when Assassin's Creed went open world, so they made an even bigger open world and largely forgot about the Assassin's part? Or how when Destiny made games as a service a thing and then everybody wanted to do it? Off. Well, back in Resident Evil 2, Capcom clearly wanted to contrive a way to fit a tyrant into their game. So they gave us Mr. X, a super buff, private detective slash pervert, who stalks you from time to time. People liked this. He just starts choking the shit out of you, and the last sensation that you feel before you die is he is squeezing your throat so hard that a big, wet blob of drool drips off his teeth and just flirt falls right onto your popped out eyeball. Jesus Christ! I know, right? So in 1999, Capcom were all, here's a whole entire game where someone stalks you. Ta-da! Resident Evil 3 Nemesis was awesome though. For one thing, you play as Jill, who's a special forces badass, rather than a student or a beat cop with less than one day of experience. Also, this was the game that finally let us loose in Raccoon City. Resi 3 was big, it was beautiful, and it was only a tiny bit infuriating with its dynamic puzzle solutions. Ugh, you're the worst. The success of the RE2 remake guaranteed a third, and I for one was super giddy when we got it. And you know what? I loved it. Unfortunately, it is really short. Like seriously, I speed ran the high difficulties in under an hour, and there's literally one puzzle in the whole game, but far from this being Resident Evil for babies... No, 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 no. The stuff that is in the game, they got really right. So why might this be in your backlog? Well, when the internet decides something, it's like a playground whisper. Someone decides it's too short, and then everybody is all, Oh, I heard they cut loads out and it's not worth it. Well, I have platinumed the Resident Evil 3 remake twice, so I'm going to tell you why you should rescue it from your backlog. One issue that people did have with the RE2 remake was the general lack of dialogue and character interactions, and that is 100% not a problem here. Carlos turns up right at the start, and the dynamic between him and Jill evolves well over time. Thanks, Carlos. I'm saving Starting out as pretty antagonistic, Are you f kidding me? You guys are the ones who caused all of it! With trust and respect being earned gradually on both sides. Carlos, I know we didn't get off to a great start. Thanks for the save. And whilst they definitely dialed back the cringe this time around, No way! That monster just doesn't give up! The banter and the puns would still make Arnie in the 80s proud. Guaranteed to give you a headache. The game is also a lot faster in general, and Jill as a character is clearly well trained and ready to mow down hordes of monsters. It's my turn, bitch! Also, I love that once you've picked up an item, any time you get that same item again, like ammo or the reaver plants, it just goes straight into your inventory, instead of showing you the pickup screen again and again and again. Oh, Jill might also actually be magic, because here she picks up a gun, and then magically has all this tactical gear. Nemesis himself can be an absolute b**** at times, and way more intense to deal with compared to Mr. X, but like I just said, Jill can take care of herself and everything about this game invites you to take him on rather than run away. Mr. X was all about the size 38 footsteps getting louder and louder with some absolute holy f style music building up. But here, Nemi just casually airdrops in and charges you down and you can charge him right back and it's so cool. And just like in the original, if you knock him down, you get a present. Be warned though, he will always be back. And next time, he might have a flamethrower, or a rocket launcher, or a massive head. <gasps> One thing I really love about this game is all the stuff in the background. All the movie posters with their amazing titles have me stopping again and again. And between Ripley's Cafe and the Monsters of the Deep poster, I was wondering how long I'd have to wait to find another Aliens Easter egg. And it turns out, not long at all. Not gonna lie, I was happy this part was short, because Pregnancy by Mouth is just rank. Gross. While the Resi 2 remake did a sterling job of making a fantastic horror action game, RE3 leans way more into the action, and it does it really well. It's made me that much more excited for Resi 4 in a few weeks. 
which from the looks of all the trailers, I'm pretty sure is not going to be a short game. My next video is going to be on Destiny 2, which you absolutely can start in 2023, and is nowhere near as complicated as it first looks. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing to my channel, and a like and or favourite would really help me out. Thanks for watching, bye! He knows what it wants and won't stop till it gets it. Don't you like that in a man? No thanks, he's all yours. I'm definitely burning these clothes. Surely a tall drink of water like yourself can put out a few flames. How is it no one in the hospital ever noticed all this? I'm not gonna die on you, leave you in a cold, cruel, Carlosless world. Okay.